Hey Grade 5, 6, welcome back to Art for Week 2. We're going to continue with our Elements of Art booklet, so you'll need to find that. And I'm going to explain the next two sections. We have done our front cover and we've also done line. If you haven't already, you need to replicate this shape all along each section. Now it doesn't have to be a house, whatever you've done in your line drawing. So up the top I've put these here. We don't need to worry about the end ones yet. We are just focusing on colour and value today. Okay, so this is all we are working on for these two. The first one we'll be doing today is colour on our third section. Now for colour you can interpret this in a whole lot of different ways. You could look at monochromatic colours, we've looked at those earlier in the year and throughout last year and the year before. So that's where everything is in one shade. So if I've got a dark green, I also might use light green, maybe a pastel green. That's monochromatic, they're all the same. It's one colour but different shades maybe using warm colours or cool colours. They're very different on that colour wheel. Maybe you will only use primary colours. Maybe you're using really vibrant rainbow colours or muted pastel tones. I'm going to show you some examples of great use of colour in artworks. On section four of our element of art booklet, we are looking at value. Now value is a little bit tricky. It refers to the lightness or the darkness in the color. For example, if I have the color red and I start adding a little bit of white to that color, the color changes and it gets lighter. So that's value. The same sort of thing that if I have that red color and I start adding black to it, the color changes and it gets deeper, it gets darker. And that's the value, it's a bit of a scale. So whether you're adding light colors or dark colors to your artwork. I'm gonna show you an example of some value in artworks to give you a bit of an idea of what I mean. I finished my colour drawing here and I've used a bit of a gradient so that means I've gone from one colour, blended them in a little better. I've used a mixture of sharpies, textures, a little bit of pencil as well and in the background I've demonstrated my understanding of colour by using warm colours and of my object in the middle here I've used cool colours. Now you don't have to do that but I find it's a really nice way to demonstrate um, your understanding of color. I think though around the edge of my house here I'm just going to make a little bit of a border so it pops out and this is the final product now that I've gone around just makes it look a little bit more finished and the eye goes straight to that middle shape. I'm going to move on to value now knowing that we have learned about how colors gradually change whether we've gone from light to dark you might choose to do the whole thing in gray scale so different colors of shading of blacks to white to grey, maybe you'll choose one colour in particular and explore the different colours that you can make. For my value drawing I have found four pencils all in green colour, so a monochromatic colour scheme and I am going to be demonstrating value by starting with a dark and moving through to a light because remember that in value we are looking at shades, so light and darkness within the artwork. So in progress here with my value drawing, I've used the darkest color to go around the edge and I'm going to start blending my colors from dark to light all the way to the edges. So an update on my value drawing here, I've gone from a dark green around the edges and I have added a little bit of a lighter color each time until I get to the lighter green on the edge. Inside my house here, I'm just adding a little bit of gray lead and I'm showing a little bit of shading, that value, by doing a darker edge around my house and then going a little softer. So showing the value in more of a gray scale. So showing color value and also more of a gray scale. The great thing about pencils is that you can 
blend them. So just using your finger. So you can blend. So you can see how the gradient up here totally white, down here a little bit darker. My four pages so far of my element of art booklet grade five six it's looking great so you can see that I've got my three here and I've got my reoccurring shape just to make it nice and consistent they're all totally different and they demonstrate the elements of art in a very different way so grade five six you're done for this week what you need to do is you need to go into Google Classroom now and you need to find your Google slide deck that I have allocated to every student under the topic of art now this is due in week four and I am expecting everybody to submit uh, what you need to do, there's instructions in there and there is also a rubric, it will be graded. So what you need to do is in each slide it will prompt you to put in a photograph of your line or your value or your colour drawing and then write in your own words a description of what you think it means. You can write anything else you like in there, if you've got a particular favourite one you can write about what you did. But I need to see a photo of what you've done for each page. So it's on Google Classroom and I will remind you as you go, but I look forward to seeing your work. See you next week.